everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoyed watching my last video and also I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who has subscribed in the last couple of videos that I've posted over the last two weeks. Thank you so much for subscribing, it means the absolute world. So today I've got um, a different type of video. Um, so I thought I would talk about 10 annoying things about being the single friend. I have actually done a blog post about this on my blog um, about a few weeks ago um, but I thought I would just also do it in video format as well because people liked it and I enjoyed writing it so I thought I'd talk about it a bit more as well and I hope you like it. I have been single majority of my life. I've always been the single friend. I've always been the one who, you know, is the third wheel. It's time we start talking about all the annoying things about being the single friend. Mind you though, I'm very happy being single. It's the single friend part that kind of irritates me a bit. So let's talk about it. Number one. What always comes first? The pity. Hey, hey, I'm just gonna go out with Andre tonight. Are you sure you're okay on your own? Yeah, sure, that's fine. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. Do you want me to change it or... I promise, it's okay. You go. And then they keep asking if you're okay and they keep going on and on. And it's like, I'm not an invalid! It's because I'm single and you're going out and I'm staying inside. It does not mean I'm upset. That face that I did earlier, that sad pity face, it's all a trick. I'm actually really happy inside because I get to spend time on my own and relax dolls and eat hamburgers and watch Dr. McDreamy. So yeah, I'm fine. I don't need the pity. Number two. 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 The setup. Why is it that just because you're single, all your friends think it's the best idea of life to hook you up with one of their friends as they like to call it or their boyfriend's friend you know that situation they bring him along to dinner and he was just in the area or you go to watch a movie with them and he was just in the cinema because obviously he lives in the cinema because he just happens to so conveniently just be there when we're there at the same time isn't that a coinky dink i know you guys mean well when you try to set us up but we don't want to be set up if we did We'd ask you to find someone for us, okay? This is not the Middle Ages. And also, just because he's black and he likes Harry Potter like me does not mean we are gonna get on like a house on fire. Now, if he was in Ravenclaw house, however, then we could talk. If he's not, then bye. So friends, listen up. It's awkward and we don't like it. Oh, the when will you get a guy question. <laughs> I have heard this one many a time in my lifetime. Please stop asking this question. We don't know when we're going to get a guy. If we knew, then we'd probably tell you, but we don't, so stop asking. A lot of the time, we're probably asking ourselves the same question and driving ourselves crazy with critique and insecurity woes. So please don't ask us. It will happen, okay? Just leave me alone. Number four, the punchy tire status. In other words, uh, this is the third wheel, the red-headed stepchild, the odd one out black sheep. I know a lot of my friends that are in couples and that don't actually make you feel like the odd one out when you go out with them. But then I have some, and it's a select few of you, that make me feel like like a hangnail on a toe. I don't want to hear washing machine sounds of you guys sucking each other's faces off. Number five, the you won't understand line. The you won't understand what it's like to fight over a duvet. The you won't understand what it's like because you're single. The you won't understand because you're inexperienced in the male species. Okay, hold up there. I probably know a lot more about guys than you do. Those five years of watching Gossip Girl and 90210 were not just for entertainment, you know? It was an education in the subject of boy kind. Boy kind. Why haven't you found anyone yet? Similar to the when will you get a guy question. Um, how about this? I don't bloody know. If I did know, you would know about it. So stop asking me. Number seven, the left out moments. 
Ah, oh, the left out moments. I remember there was a time when this actually used to get me down. Um, but now I look back on those times and I laugh. <laughs> because it means that all those times when they're off out and I'm at home, I can again chomp on my KFC chicken bucket for one and eat fries and watch Gossip Girl and educate myself in the subject of boy kind. Number eight, that your standards are too high. My standards are not too high, first of all. I'm sorry if I don't want to go around and date the first Tom, Dick, no pun intended, or Harry that comes along, okay? And just, you know, go out with them. I don't do that. I want to make sure that I'm dating the right person who's right for me and who likes the same things that I like and that I'm not just settling. Number nine, I can fix it. I can fix it approach. Ah, oh, this one is very, very patronizing to me, okay? Just because you are now in a relationship does not make you Dr. Phil, okay? It does not. So stop. You can fix it. Even though my KFC burger fell on the floor, you cannot put it back together again. You just can't. Number 10. That you'll meet someone when you least expect it. Hey, Hev, you'll meet someone when you least expect it. Don't worry about it. First of all, okay. Am I going to be driving home on a long day from work? through the KFC drive-thru I've been thinking about all day eating my KFC and the first person at the drive it through window is going to be the person I fall in love with is it? is it? is it? no it's not because what if that person at the drive through window is an automated response what if it's a potato I just can't with this statement okay I just and there we have it guys, those are the 10 things that I find really annoying about being the single friend. I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Also comment which you find the most annoying thing about being the single friend if you are the single friend. Or if you have any other things that you find annoying about being single, leave them in the comments below. Just a little disclaimer, that it was intended for humour, it wasn't um, a dab you stab in the back at anyone okay you go couples you go and yes so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe the button is right there and i will see you in my next video thanks for watching bye the you won't understand no <laughs> oh, 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 oh.